As many of you know, Annie Bell's Essentials is my favorite cloth pad maker. Um, Annie Bell's is the first shop that I ever purchased uh, a pad from that someone else had made. I started out by making my own, and um, so when I ventured into purchasing cloth pads, the first shop I ever purchased a cloth pad from was Annie Bell's Essentials. And many of you who've watched my channel for a long time have seen this pad before many times. This is my um, Eeyore pad from Annie Bell's Essentials. And it is still arguably my favorite, but now that I have so many I love, Eeyore has some competition. But I wanted to show you this one because the reason I'm doing another review on the Annie Bell shop is that she has changed quite a few things about uh, the way that her pads come packaged and how she indicates absorbency level. In the olden days, she used these little embroidered stars on the wings to indicate absorbency. And so you would know that this pad was a heavy absorbency because it has three stars embroidered onto the wing. And she has changed uh, how she indicates that. And so I'm gonna show you um, a couple, I'm gonna show you three more recently purchased pads from her so that you can see what you can expect and how they'll come packaged if you order something from the Annie Bell's Essentials shop today. When you receive a pad from Annie Bell's Essentials, this is how it is gonna come packaged to you. Excuse the sun glare. I'm sorry, I cannot be, I can't even pretend to be unhappy about the sun out today. It's lovely when the sun is bright, uh, but it causes, I'm right next to a window, and so excuse the sun glare, it's just nature being happy today. Um, this is a pad that I ordered, I've, I, I ordered it months ago, um, but I kept the packaging because I knew I wanted to demonstrate this pad um, uh, in, a, in a future review to show you how things had changed. So, let me, I think this side of the screen is better. Um, when you order it, it comes like this. You'll get one of her uh, lovely business cards tucked inside. Oh my goodness, excuse me. We'll talk about why that just happened in a minute. Um, well, um, and it comes wrapped in one of these pretty um, heavy card stock uh, binders, basically. Um, it's just a little band around the pad so that it stays neat in transit to you. And if you order more than one pad from her, they get stacked together so that they stay neat as possible and um, safe in transit. So this pad, um, and it always has a cute little sticker of some kind on it. So we're going to open this one. I've been waiting forever to use this pad. When you open it, isn't she beautiful? I, I have another pad from this series of fabrics, and it was a woman who does needle craft. And this one I thought was the same thing, but I'm noticing she's carrying fountain pens, and she has pencils in her butt. I think she's a writer. Oh my gosh! I thought she was another, you know, needle craft kind of person, but she's a writer. So yeah, Eeyore's got some competition now, you guys. Wow. I now have a writer pad and a sewing person pad from this series of fabric. Yay, look how gorgeous is that. That's one of the reasons she's my favorite. But anyway, I'm gonna show you how this is different from the Eeyore pad. The nausea is really getting to me. I don't know if you can tell from my, cause I'm a pale person, you know. Sometimes on forms, you know, you're filling out forms for this, that, or the other thing, and they ask you to identify your racial category. I don't know if they do that in other parts of the world, but in the United States, you know, when they're collecting data, they often ask you for to self-identify your race, and when they do that, I put really freaking white, because <laughs> I'm really pale, but I'm paler than usual right now, and that's just incredible nausea. Sorry about that, I had to throw myself a tiny little pity party. Excuse me. All right, so the things that are different about the Annie Bell's pads now is that instead of using stars, I still I still can't get over writer pad. Oh. But um, instead of using stars, she uses different colored snaps to indicate um, absorbency level. And so the red is a heavy pad. Now, when you snap them, the way that hers work is that the visible snap on the outside will somehow um, coordinate with the print. So it, it always looks good uh, with the um, 
the fabric choice. Um, however, when you unsnap it on the inside, you will see the color indicator so that you know immediately just by looking at it um, that it's a heavy or a moderate, for example. Now I'm going to show you two other ones. Um, this one is a moderate, also adorable. This is the most recently purchased one that I got from her. And I just loved these little steampunk looking kind of wonderland um, ladies on this pad. But you'll notice that for moderate, the snap color is pink. Uh, and I will put down below all of the other snap colors that she has so that you know kind of what to expect um, if you order from her. But the pink is definitely highly contrasted with the red so that there's no mistaking them when you pull them out of the bucket um, unless you just happen to have um, some kind of a vision issue that would prevent you from seeing the, the difference between these two. They're quite clearly marked. And um, the fleece on the back of her more recent pads, I, I don't know this for certain, but they feel like WinPro fleece, which is different than the anti-pill fleece that she used to use. And it's soft and dense and, and quite nice. I really, really like it. So her backing fleece has changed, and I don't know if that's permanent or if it's just, you know, she had a batch of that fleece, but the most recent ones that I have from her have this, this more dense WinPro feeling fleece on the back of them and the absorbency has changed. Now, what hasn't changed about Annie Bell's Essentials pads is the quality of the sewing. And I'm using this one to demonstrate because you can see she's used a, a contrasting color thread on a white fabric so that you can see how perfect the stitching is every time. Uh, you just, you never find any mistakes. And that's because Heather has very exacting standards. Uh, Heather's the, the owner proprietor of the, of the Annie Bell's Essentials. And so if she makes a mistake, um, if I've never seen one that, I, I suspect that if something goes seriously awry, she just doesn't put it on her shop. But if there are tiny imperfections in the stitching, she will sell those at a reduced cost as a second quality pad. Um, so she's extraordinarily ethical about that part of her business as well. Um, and the shape is just something that I find really nice. She has a very, very mild flared, rounded rectangle shape um, that's just very commonly comfortable for a large majority of people. Um, and she has a, a varying lengths and everything. So nothing has really changed about the shape and the quality of her pads. Just a couple of, you know, things that I wanted to talk to you about that are different now. Um, now I wanted to show you this band that wraps around her pads. She used to just include a little sheet of paper that had care instructions and that sort of thing. But now she's had it kind of cleverly printed here on the back of this band that comes around. And it has, um, you know, the different uses that you could consider for a cloth pad. Um, it gives you some warnings about not using fabric softener so that it doesn't, you know, reduce the absorbency, reminds you to wash your pads before you use them. And then she also has some pretty darn specific and explicit instructions on how to, to wash a cloth pad um, for people who might be new to that. And she's done that by saving, saving waste by using this for both wrapping the pads and providing her information as well as providing the care instructions. It's just clever, clever packaging, and I like clever packaging. Now the next thing I'm gonna show you is one of her organic bamboo velour pads because she does sell OBV, which is the shorthand for organic bamboo velour. And I have one here that's beautiful that I wanna show you and um, also just kinda of talk a little bit about her OBV pads. Okay, so this is uh, my favorite organic bamboo velour pad. And I have quite a few. Um, I have a couple from Annie Bell's that are also organic bamboo velour that um, I have another one in this length that's just a solid green. Uh, but I also have some overnights from her with organic bamboo velour. And I love OBV for several reasons. Um, and the first one is the reason most people really like it is because I hope you can see this, um, how plush and soft and high pile you know this is. For me, it's a good alternative to Minky because Minky has a tendency to occasionally irritate my skin. In addition to that, um, Minky is 100% polyester, and I don't. Uh, when when I wear a pad for stress incontinence, Minky because polyester is not itself absorbent, um, that doesn't tend to be the most safe uh, topper material to use uh, for stress incontinence days. Whereas organic bamboo velour which is actually a mixture of bamboo viscose and cotton generally. Um, 
I mean, and or, you know, so the the bamboo was organic and the and the cotton was organic. So there's nothing you know chemically that was that was treated on the plants. But in addition to that, the fibers themselves are absorbent. So I find it much more effective for stress incontinence or for people who have gushing. Uh, we talk about that a lot uh, with with menstrual flow. So if you have quick releases. I just feel, you know, my personal experience and opinion is that the OBV does a better job than Minky of handling that sort of thing, uh, simply because the fibers themselves are um, absorbent. Now, this one, again, with the red snap, you can see this is a heavy. Um, and I loved this because um, this is a hand-dyed um, piece of OBV, um, and it just, to me, it was reminiscent of like a, a watercolor landscape. And I always imagine like this little pretty fish pond with a little waterfall or something, and then some trees, and then the sky, and I know that's fanciful, but I just thought this was beautiful. And I don't know uh, who she purchases her OBV from, uh, but she occasionally gets new uh, pieces of it in her shop and will have a variety of OBV pads. And as we move into the winter months, it's October of 2015 as I'm making this review, uh, as we move into the colder months, I just find it's nice to have these cozy, warmer pads. And if you uh, don't sew your own uh, OBV pads and you're looking for someone who sells them, um, Annie Bell's does really good quality OBV pads and I've never had a complaint with any of mine, and I think I have four or five of hers now with the OBV toppers, and they're always just tremendously great. Okay, so then in closing, I'm just gonna remind everybody again uh, why Annie Bell's is my favorite, other than the fact that obviously I love her pads, because I love lots of other shops' pads too. Huge fan of Yurtcraft, huge fan of Novel Red. Um, one of my newest shops that I'm a huge fan of is Phoenix Rising Reusables, but there's a couple of reasons that Heather's pads are my favorite, and I'm just going to close out by by running through that again. Because uh, I did a review on her shop before, and really my opinion on most of that has not changed. But in case you didn't see that one, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Heather, how her business works, and um, why I prefer her pads to everybody else's. I've had the, the privilege of talking a little bit with Heather. Um, uh, Heather is the, the woman who, who runs the shop. And I've had uh, the privilege of discussing things with her and talking to her a little bit in the cloth community when it wasn't directly related to purchasing cloth pads from her. And she's a very kind person. She's a very ethical person. Um, and her business is very much a home run family business. Uh, she and her husband, there's actually been pictures that she's posted of her husband helping to actually sew the pads. Um, and so, you know, I, I like supporting that entrepreneurial family-run business kind of a thing. They have excellent customer service. Uh, when she is open for custom pads and she opens up for customs when she has the time and when she doesn't, she clearly posts that she's closed for customs. Um, so there's never any question about that. Um, when you go to her shop, it'll be very clear what's available and, and when and why, you know, so the customer service aspect is very good. Uh, in addition to that, you know, the friendliness of the customer service and the clear way that everything on her shop is marked. Um, she is very um, active with her customer base through her Facebook page, and I'll have the link to that as well as the link to her Etsy shop where you can purchase uh, her pads if you'd like. Um, both of those links will be down in the description. Um, and she's very active. She tells people when she's got new fabrics in, when she's going to change some things, when she's got a new shipment of OBV, etc. Um, the shipping times are always remarkably quick. You know, if if you order from her, you can rest assured that, you know, it, she's going to get those out the door in a very reasonable time frame. I've, I think one of the things I bragged about once is that I ordered a pad from her on Wednesday and I had it on Friday. And, you know, she doesn't treat me any differently than she treats other people. We're not, you know, I've never met Heather. It's not like she's my bestie who lives two doors down and, and she treats me differently than her other customers. She treats all of her customers that way. Um, and so, you know, with barring any trouble with the United States Postal Service, which is been pretty bad lately. Uh, you know, it, it, Heather will make sure that your order is processed 
and and out the door and and shipped to you in a very timely fashion and her prices are competitive with other people who produce pads of similar quality so if you were to compare heather's pricing to for example novel red pricing or yurt craft pricing or hidden glen pricing um, you're going to notice that those prices are all very very comparable to one another so her pricing is quite fair for the product that she's putting out um, her shipping is wonderful, her customer service is wonderful, and she is, honest to goodness, a, a really kind, uh, very sweet human being who is very invested in making sure that the people who purchase her products are happy with what they receive. Um, so, and then the other mechanical reason that I prefer hers to others is that, and I've mentioned this before, uh, Yurtcraft, I'm a huge fan of Yurtcraft pads. So, um, but the reason I would prefer an Annie Bells to a Yurtcraft usually, and this might be a flipped preference for other people's, but it's an important thing for you to know about the differences if you were to compare the two, is that the gusset on an Annie Bells Essentials pad is a tiny bit wider than a gusset on a similar length. Um, York craft, for example, this is a 10 inch Annie Bells on a 10 and a half inch York craft, which would be the same size uh, length, for example. The gusset on a York craft pad would be a little bit slimmer than the gusset on an Annie Bells. And I find that the gusset width on an Annie Bells pad is, for my preference, uh, better. But for people who like uh, an even slenderer one, that might be a flipped preference. But that's one of the key reasons that I prefer hers to um, some of those other shops is because the shape and the width of the gusset for me are perfect. And so, you know, you got to shop around, but there's a reason that this shop is my favorite. And oh my gosh, I have a writer pad. I still can't get over it. I didn't know she was a writer. So anyway, I think I've babbled about Annie Bells enough for a second updated review. But if you are looking to purchase cloth pads from someone for the first time, or if you just, you know, wanted to know what my favorite was and why, it is definitely Annie Bell's Essentials. I even prefer her pads to my own. Uh, and I've worked very hard to make pads that I love for myself, uh, but I still like Heather's pads better. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review uh, and all of the information to contact uh, Heather and her shop will be located in the description below. You guys have a great day and um, I will talk to you again very, very soon. In fact, I think I'm gonna do another one this afternoon talking about uh, period tracking apps and why I use them and which ones I use. Okay, bye.